So what are stem cells? Well, a stem cell is a cell that can divide an unlimited number of times by mitosis. And stem cells have the potential to remain a stem cell or differentiate into a specialized cell. And there are over 200 different types of cell in your body. Now, there are a couple of different types of stem cells. There are zygotic stem cells. Now, these are taken from early embryos, usually sort of one to three days old, no more than 16 cells. And these have the ability to differentiate into any type of cell. All those 200 plus types of cells can come from zygotic stem cells. So we call them totipotent. When the embryo reaches the blastula stage, this is about four to five days, there is now an inner cell mass of embryonic stem cells, which can form any cell except placental cells. And these cells are called pluripotent stem cells. And lastly, you can actually find stem cells in adults, for example, in bone marrow, but these are limited to what they can differentiate into, and therefore we call them only multipotent cells. Now, the best source of stem cell scientific uh, research are from the leftover embryos after in vitro fertilization or IVF. IVF is a therapy used to help people have children where eggs and sperm are harvested from the parents and combined artificially in the lab to form embryos before being implanted back into the mother to grow uh, and to give birth as normal. Now, when you do IVF, you always make more embryos than you need in case it doesn't work. They don't, not every embryo divides properly. And so you make more than you need and you only implant one or two. So there's always some embryos left at the end of an IVF process. Now, these are cultured in the lab and then treated to make them differentiate as required. And they are very, very useful, obviously, because they are totipotent cells. This kind of research on embryonic stem cells is ethically complicated because many people believe an embryo is a potential human life or already a human life once that zygote is formed and has human rights and therefore should not be used for research in this way. Adult stem cells are essential for growth and repair of your body and so you do need to have some somatic adult stem cells. Everyone will have some, especially in places like your bone marrow to make blood cells. Now they may remain dormant for years, dividing and creating new cells only when they get activated. The example shown here are uh, hematopoietic cells, uh, which are found in bone marrow, which can form various types of blood cell. Adult stem cells can be hard to isolate in some tissues and can only differentiate into a handful of cells. Um, as we've already mentioned, they're called multipotent. So they are hard to get and not that useful to use for research because they don't differentiate into that many different types of cells. Now recently scientists have actually been able to to treat adult stem cells to make them pluripotent again. So that's an exciting development. So although these cells are, like we said, multipotent, therefore not useful, we have actually been able to mess around with them a little bit to turn them into something called induced pluripotent stem cells or IPS. Now research into stem cells has opened up some really exciting medical applications. Stem cell therapy is the introduction of adult stem cells into damaged tissue to treat disease. So stem cell therapy is being used uh, at the moment. The only established common example of this currently though is the use of bone marrow transplants to treat leukemia. However, many, many more treatments are being tested, especially with things like Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis MS. It is also hoped that in the future, organ transplants from donors could be replaced by growing whole new organs from patients' own stem cells. This would remove the issue with organ rejection and the need to take huge quantities of immunosuppressant drugs for the rest of your life. If you could just have an organ grown from your own cells, there'd be no chance of rejection at all. It'd be perfect. Other examples of how stem cells have helped uh, science are uh, with developmental and cell biology. Studies of the characteristics of stem cells have allowed us to discover more about cancer cells and how cells develop and differentiate in an embryo, which is very useful. Um, they've also been very useful with drug and toxicity testing. Um, the importance and benefits of using stem cells as a tool for testing chemicals and new drugs is really important. And also with gene therapy. Gene therapy can be performed on stem cells um, like bone marrow to in the treatment of SCID, making the resulting treatment longer lasting.